In this video, I'm going to explain how I converted uh, this power pack that uh, originally runs off of a 12 volt uh, lead acid battery uh, to run off of uh, lithium ion batteries that I've salvaged from uh, laptop uh, power packs. So, this uh, power pack is a uh, booster uh, for cars, but it also has an integrated uh, inverter to supply 120 volts. Um, so you have three plugs here for to plug in uh, appliances at 120 volts and on the side here you have a cigarette type of plug uh, cigarette lighter type plug to uh, to power 12 volt appliances and these are the terminals where you would normally connect your booster cables which I've taken off uh, as you can see here uh, this is the lead that goes to the cells inside to be able to balance the the pack that's inside so let's look at the original specs for this unit. So uh, for AC, it's able to power 600 watts continuous, 700 watts for five minutes, and 1,000 watts uh, peak. Um, the battery was an AGM, so an advanced glass mat lead acid battery, uh, which weighed uh, 28 pounds. Or as 28 pounds, maybe is the total weight of the unit. But uh, the lead acid batteries uh, that was in there was about 23 pounds, I think, uh, and it was 33 hours. So that's the specs of the original battery, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the pack and show you what's inside now. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and uh, removed all the screws that are that hold this together, and let's open it up. And here you see the lithium ion batteries. So there's two groups uh, of 54 cells. The one you see here, and there's another underneath. So they're stacked one on top of the other. So this makes it a uh, 18, uh, there's 18 cells in parallel, three in series, three banks in series, uh, but they're interconnected. So it ends up being really a 36 cell pair three in series. Now why did I go with uh, three in series? Uh, lithium ion batteries fully charged are 4.2 volts. So you put three in series you end, end up with 12.6 volt. Now that's that'll work but it's, it's a little lower than a lead acid battery. Lead acid batteries are usually 12.8 uh, volts fully charged. If I went with a four cell in series the voltage would be too high and the inverter would not r run with that high, that high of a voltage. So uh, this will work, um, but what I'll have to do now is to test to see what's the capacity. I won't be able to use the full capacity of the batteries because the inverter will shut off um, early because I think it shuts off about a 10 volts. Now, a fully discharged uh, lithium ion battery is about 3 volts, so that would be 9 volts. So it'll shut off a little bit prematurely, but that's not a big deal. It'll actually uh, uh, treat the cells uh, more easily, so it won't uh, fully discharge them. But well, I won't be getting the full capacity out of the cells. So um, each cell, these are used cells. Uh, they're not uh, full capacity. Um, I, I roughly estimate about a, a two amp hour per cell. So if I get anywhere near that. Will have a lot more capacity than the original uh, lead acid battery. So the original lead acid battery had uh, 33 amp hour. So if I figure two times 36 cells in par parallel, that makes uh, 72 amp hour. So it'd be doubling the amp hour of the original battery, and uh, also being about half the weight. So this is about. Uh, 12 volts of uh, cell, uh, 12 pounds of cell versus the uh, original battery, which was about 24 pounds. But like I said, I, I don't expect to be able to get uh, that much uh, power out of it because uh, the voltages are not quite appropriate. Um, as you can see here, uh, the wires that I'm using uh, this is a, an 8 gauge, so there's an 8 gauge for this one, and there's an 8 gauge for the one underneath for the positive and for the negative. Uh, these are uh, all soldered using a uh, very thin uh, wire. I use um, resistors that I cut uh, that acts as a fuse if uh, one of the cells go bad. And it's also very very easy to solder. So uh, so as you can see here, 
this is a, a group of cells, uh, positive, which it connects to the next group of cells to the negative. There's another connection underneath here, and then this ends up being the positive for this group of cells. So that's it. Uh, I think I've explained everything uh, there is to know about this. Uh, let's put it back together, and then uh, let's test it out. I'm now ready to test the capacity of the lithium ion batteries that I put in this uh, power pack. So uh, I just uh, finished charging it. Um, during a test, I will put a time lapse uh, camera to film. Uh, this uh, kilowatt meter will be able to t track how many uh, watt hours uh, we are able to take out of it uh, from one running through the inverter at 120 volts. I have a voltmeter. Uh, voltmeter is connected to the ports here. Uh, so if I just turn this on, so this is normally what you would use to boost a car. So turn it on and you can see that I have 12.597 volts, so just shy of 12.6 volts. Uh, it was at 12.6 but I've been playing around with it so the voltage dropped a bit. I also have over here a uh, low voltage alarm. So this is plugged into the balance wires and if it cycles through there you'll see the voltage of each cell bank. They're all about 4.2 volts and here it's telling me 2.62 volts total so there's just a little bit of a difference between the voltage. No, uh, no meter is exactly the same unless it's uh, precisely calibrated. So uh, to load this for the during the test, uh, I have two light bulbs. They're 150 white, uh, 150 watts uh, normal incandescent bulbs, so it'll be 300 watts total. Um, when it's going to be connected, you'll also see a reading here uh, of the uh, how much uh, much watts it's being used. Um, there's also a button here that you can press. This tells you the capacity, current capacity. So as you can see, even though the batteries are fully charged, it's 12.6 volt but lead acid batteries, uh, full lead acid batteries are 12.8 so that's why it's telling me even though it's full is 80% capacity uh, which is uh, normal so so I, I want to set up the rig uh, using a time lapse ca camera because I figure it would probably go on for about 3 hours it would be if it make for a very long and boring video so I'll only take a, a frame every minute or so that way we can see the voltage dropping and be able to see how many uh, watt hours we're taking from the battery and at a certain point um, there's an internal alarm on in the pack uh, when it gets to uh, I think I'm not sure but around 10.5 volts it'll, the alarm will go off it's actually quite annoying uh, but we're gonna have to let it go down until it uh, shuts off and just in case I have uh, th th this will ring if one of the cells goes below three volts so if ever one of the cell banks is weaker than the other two um, this will let us know uh, but I don't think so I think I, I made sure that all the, the cells uh, together uh, had pretty much the same capacity all right so uh, let's switch over to the testing okay so I'm, I'm set up to do the test I've got uh, a camera here that I've set up to do the time lapse uh, the camera I'm using here uh, batteries don't last very long so I can't expect to uh, have it running during uh, three hours or so it's going to take to test so uh, so we got this oh, turning it on to there you go so you see the brightness of the lights and uh, so right now I have on volts so you see 294 watts it's rep this is reporting 240 but this is always much lower so this is much more accurate 2.5 amps all right so right now we got 0, 0.00 kilowatt hours uh, voltage as you can see has already sagged a bit 2.2 12.2 volts but uh, We'll let the test continue and we'll see how much uh, capacity these batteries have. I, I'd like to note too that uh, I, I do understand that the inverter has quite a bit of loss in it, so 
um, whatever capacity we end up with is much less than uh, the actual battery capacity due to loss but this will give me an idea of how long this unit can last uh, for let's say running a couple of frid uh, a fridge or so. Uh, a fridge uh, usually takes about 200 watts so actually less than what we're consuming right now. So uh, let's uh, let's let that go and we'll see uh, at the end how much uh, watt hours we get out of it. So that uh, terminates the test of this uh, battery pack. So uh, taking the load off, um, the inverter is still running and the alarm is not even on anymore. So it, uh, it was able to supply 600 watt hours. So rough conversion, I'd say the batteries are about approximately a total of 60 amp hour, which is right about what I was uh, estimating. Now I never tested this uh, unit when I first purchased it, but uh, I'm sure that the original battery it didn't come anywhere close to that. Uh, when I replaced the battery, uh, the batteries were pretty much toast. They only had like 5 amp hour of capacity and wouldn't run more than uh, 5 minutes uh, on doing this test. So the, uh, the inverter shut off when the voltage was about 10.7 volts, which means that um, each cell was around 3.57 volts. So still had a ways to go to, to be at three volts, uh, which is the uh, lower uh, voltage for lithium ion. Um, but still, um, the voltage bounced back up to only 11.13 volts. So that's 3.7 volts. And from what I understand, that's only about 25% capacity, I think. Um, so anyways, uh, just to show you, the, uh, the cells are still pretty close to balanced. 3.72, 3.736, 3.70, so 28 millivolts difference between the highest and the lowest. So that's pretty good. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to recharge the batteries uh, using a... Uh, a cell log or it's going to calculate how many watt hours we're actually going to put back in the battery and I'll give you a rest estimate of I guess the efficiency of this inverter. After about a night on the uh, on charge the power pack is now pretty much fully charged. Um, I charge it using a constant current constant voltage uh, charger. Um, the input is uh, DC about 19 volts from a laptop power supply and this is set to 12.6 uh, volt out and I'm able to monitor it using this watt meter so here you can see uh, 64 amp hours how much I put back into the power pack it's just cycling through the different uh, information here there you go 64 amp hour and still charging a bit but uh, at 6 watts so it's pretty much done I'll also show you here how I use this to balance the batteries and uh, as you can see it's perfectly balanced. The each uh, cell bank is 4.2 volts so that's showing me that it's fully charged. So this was pretty successful. Um, changing the, from lead acid to lithium I doubled the capacity uh, and more I think and uh, it's quite a bit lighter. So that's it. Until next time.